Just Councillor Westwood, I, it was Councillor Cordover first and then yourself, Councillor Grace, oh. he'd indicated previously that he wanted to speak. Thank you, Mayor. And my, so my question is about the um, depreciation is 112,000 over budget due to greater than expected depreciation on buildings as a result of the community hub being capitalised. And then computer equipment, so, um, so this is a question, but it's probably a two-pronged question. The first part is, can we please have a bit more context about the community hub? And then secondly, um, the software maintenance and hardware maintenance appears to have um, significant variances. And so I was just wondering what, what the story is behind that. Thanks. Thank you. Mr Breen, are you able to assist? Uh, through you, Mayor. Uh, essentially, we, with the uh, Community Hub building, we made an estimate of what we thought the depreciation would be, bearing in mind that it's componentised, so uh, it is a bit difficult to put an exact figure on where the, uh, the um, depreciation would be at the end of the year. Um, we were about, um, I think it was about uh, 40,000 short in regards to that uh, particular number. So uh, um, it would end up being a bit more than we expected due to some of the components being uh, of a shorter nature. Uh, so that's for that one there. In regards to the um, materials and services uh, costs, our, our contracts with uh, uh, IT service provision, uh, we had a lot of additional expenditure over the last 12 months associated with um, creating, I guess, uh, the ability for staff to work from home. So there was obviously a significant investment, particularly in security infrastructure, uh, to allow for that to occur. Uh, and unfortunately, most of that, those costs will be ongoing for Council. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. And um, my next question is about, at 4.2, through you, Mayor, Council's cash and investments are now amount to 23.1 million at the end of June, which is up 15.8 million from the June 2020 figure. And this is obviously, um, as it says there, borrowing of, of um, $9.42 million was undertaken in June uh, under the local government interest-free package. My, my question is actually just one about three million in cash and you had 22 million borrowings, you would repay a lot of that debt. Uh, but bearing in mind that uh, all but $2.8 million of it is interest-free, uh, there's no incentive for Council to repay that debt until it matures. So uh, the strategy of Council will be to repay as much debt as possible, bearing in mind that uh, um, Kingston Park we will certainly be receiving and probably at least another $12 million over the next four or five years. So um, it will certainly aid us in repaying debt. Another factor that we had at the end of the financial year was that the uh, FAGS grants were once again paid in advance by the federal government, so that certainly assisted Council with an additional million dollars. And we've also got uh, over $2 million worth of grant funds for the Transform Kingston project, which uh, are sitting in account and yet to be expended. Thank you. Thank you. And th through you, Mayor, just to um, conclude my remarks, uh, I just thought it was really worth noting that Council has received $2 million under the Hobart City deal arrangement, $200,000 for black spot funding on Lighthouse Road, Bruny Island, $750,000 under the Bruny Island Visitor Economy Roads Package, $702,000 under the Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Program, and um, $455,000 for the Whitewater Track upgrade, which I'm really pleased about. So there's there's a couple of good things going on there. Um, and I'll just conclude by by noting that the rates are uh, $668,000 over budget, with the general rate being $631,000 over. Um, and so this, I think, speaks to a, a similar pattern that we've seen ongoing now, where, um, where yeah, enormous amounts of development are, are um, as, a, as a result of that, we're seeing these these um, significant figures. So, um, once again, thank you to, to the author and the authoriser. And of course, um, it uh, yeah, I think council is, is doing well financially. Thanks. Thank you.